Okay, so today we are gonna practice painting like Vincent Van Gogh. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna divide up our paper. So you're gonna fold it in half this way, and then fold it in half this way. So you wind up with four boxes. So open it up after you fold it in half. Okay. And just to emphasize those boxes, I am going to draw a line over top of my folds. So now we need a little bit of structure to practice. So in the first one, I'm gonna draw a pretty big circle, leave some space around it. All right, the second one, I am gonna draw a big swirl coming in. Think of the wind that you can actually see in Van Gogh's paintings when you draw that swirl. All right, next, I am just going to draw like some wavy hills here. And lastly, I'm gonna draw what kind of looks like a flame. You can think of the cypress tree in his artwork, okay? So normally we would do this using uh, tempera paint, but you guys have watercolor at home. If you do happen to have your own like paint that you don't have to wet and you want to use that, that would be okay. But with the watercolor, this is what we want to do. You want to use it with as little water as possible. Okay. So just wet your brush a little bit. Now, in Van Gogh's work, you could see all of his brush strokes. So we're just gonna touch our brush to the paper and lift it up. So touch, lift, touch, lift, touch, lift. There's spaces between all of his brush strokes. And I'm just going around in a circle to fill this in. So touch, lift, touch, lift. Okay, now I'm gonna rinse off my brush and I'm gonna start in around the outside. You don't wanna have this too wet or it will bleed. So now I'm gonna go around and I'm just getting that brush stroke, the mark that the brush makes. I'm going, I'm going around in a circle and I'm leaving these spaces. Keep going around, just little dabs. So you wanna see those brush strokes in your work. If it gets a little too light, just get a little more paint. The less water you use, the darker your colors will appear. All right, so I'm going around and I'm going around. I'm gonna get a slightly darker color here. off. Now my uh, orange in the middle has had a chance to dry a little bit so now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna get some yellow and I am gonna put my yellow brush strokes in that white area around the orange. So I'm layering a little bit but I still like I still see my brush strokes. same thing with my sky. I'm gonna put a little bit of 
purple in my sky. And I can do those areas where they're still white. And I'm just dabbing my brush. There's my first square painted, practicing painting like Vincent Van Gogh. All right, next up, I'm gonna do my swirl here. So my first, I can follow that. So I'm just short, quick brush strokes, lifting my brush in between each one following that swirl around. Mm -hmm. I go back, I'm gonna get a different color here. See, it's a little wet here, so I wanna add more paint to that. So short, quick, lifting my brush in between each brush stroke. for the sky. And I'm starting to layer some of those brush strokes on top of others, which is okay as long as you have a different color there. There is my wind box. All right, so I am gonna move down to the hills here. Okay, I'm just gonna, just gonna do some fun red. So we're not gonna do a continuous brush stroke. As you may have guessed, we're gonna keep going. With our short, quick brush strokes with space in between each one. that box practicing my brush strokes here. You can continue like layering in colors here as one dries. And see how it affects 
the look of a piece when you add another color and you start getting rid of that white. And I'm just dabbing. I'm gonna do that, that red section. And if you have to mix a little bit of color in your watercolor palette, that's okay. Just use the side area, try not to mix on the pans too much. All right, so there is my third area. I could even uh, fill in those a little bit more, especially up top, I feel like, but. For our final box, all right. So I'm going to start this one with some greens. Now this, I want you to try and use some slightly longer brush strokes for this one, following the shape. Make sure that brush is really, uh, doesn't hit, you know, pretty dry, doesn't have a whole lot of water. I know we're using watercolors, but the less water, the better for this. And I'm gonna go back and I am gonna get another green here. using slightly longer brush strokes. And let's see, I'm just gonna add in a little bit of blue too. I'm trying to get those areas I haven't already. There's my final practice area. So once you're done practicing, make sure you take a picture and upload it to Schoology so I can give you credit. All right, talk to you soon.